Our design robot's purpose is to complete a path with obstacles. In this project, the obstacles are gaps on the road. In order to achieve this purpose, the robot is designed to change its center of mass. By changing the location of the center of mass, we are always able to keep it on mechanical support and prevent the robot from falling into the gaps. We use the mass of brass which is considerably heavy when compared to the weight of the whole robot. The mass is moved by a belt in order to change the position of the center of mass. The brass mass moves to the back of the robot while robot's front side is on the gap and moves to the front of the robot while robot's back side is on the gap. For this project, we use three DC motors with reduction gears. First one is for controlling the mass's location with the help of a belt and gears. Second one is for the forward movement of the front wheels. And the last one is for forward movement of the rear wheels. For controlling the rotation of the DC motors, we use the PIC 16 F88. The function of the PIC 16 F88 is to control the movements of the mass and robot by controlling the motors. The motors are controlled according to the data that PIC 16 F88 reads from the distance measurer sensor. Additionally, we use the L293B motor driver as a driver for DC motors. By using L293B, we could give enough current to our motors, which would not be possible with PIC 16 F88 only. Also, we could control the direction of rotation, which is important for us in order to move the mass to both directions. As sensor, we use the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor, which detects the distance by sending sound pulses and calculates the time of the waves turning back to the sensor. This is used for robot's gap detecting system. When the sensor reads a farther value than the value we set, it means the sensor is above a gap. Otherwise, the sensor does not see a gap. After designing and manufacturing of the mechanical components of the robot, which are wooden plaque, tires, and mass, we designed the electrical circuit. Then we constructed the electrical circuit by soldering the components on a printed circuit board. Lastly, we assemble the circuit with robot. The last stage was programming the PIC 16 F88. First, we obtained data from sensor. Then, using this data, we programmed the movements of components under different conditions, which depend on the data from sensor. During the programming the PIC 16 F88, we did it step by step in order to see our mistakes at the programming procedure. Also, lots of tests have been made during as we progressed. Now, let's look at a demonstration of the gap passing robot. Listen. I am riding, no breaking me. I am riding, no shaking me. I am riding, no earthquake kiss me. I am riding, oh, I am riding. Take a short walk in my shoes, my boots, my kicks, my flip flops, whatever. I done seen rain, I ain't.